Hello and welcome to Quick Charge. I'm Steven and today is Monday, April 8th. A total solar eclipse brought complete darkness to 12 US states today. The sun was blocked from view for about 4 minutes, the period known as totality, but was partially covered for about 3.5 hours and even areas far outside the path of totality experienced some level of reduced solar output. Several power grids were impacted by the loss of solar generation as the eclipse cut a path from Texas to Maine. A study of the impacts of the eclipse will provide valuable insights for grid operators across the country as they prepare for extreme weather events. As rivals pull back, Hyundai is surging ahead in the US electric vehicle market as the brand goes all in on electric vehicles. After selling nearly 40,000 EVs in the US last year, Hyundai became the second best selling EV brand behind only Tesla. Meanwhile, American automakers are pulling back on EV plans, citing slower than expected demand. Hyundai's US CEO explained, quote, if a person is thinking about buying an EV, you want to go to a company who is fully committed to selling EVs in the US. The automaker looks to keep its momentum after fast tracking construction at its first EV and battery plant in the US. With its vehicles produced in the US, Hyundai expects to qualify for the $7,500 tax credit. Hyundai is taking advantage of arguably the auto industry's most significant transition while staying focused on the future. The company aims to be one of the top three EV makers globally by 2030. By going all in on EVs, Hyundai is positioning itself to outpace the competition. As a sort of public business plan, Musk has been releasing Tesla's secret plan blog posts to describe the automaker's product plans. Let's take a look at how the execution of the Tesla secret master plan part two is going eight years later. The first point in the plan was an integrated solar roof battery product. Tesla did build solar roof, but it hasn't been the success it thought it would be, at least for now. The second point is about having EV models in all segments of transportation. Tesla launched the Model Y, which has become the best-selling vehicle in the world last year, as well as the Cybertruck. Tesla predicted that a cheaper vehicle than the Model 3 would be unnecessary. However, Tesla badly needs cheaper vehicles right now to stay competitive in the current EV market. It has invested in its next-generation vehicle platform, which is expected to support a $25,000 EV. In addition to consumer vehicles, Tesla planned for a heavy-duty truck and high passenger density urban transport. Tesla semis are on the road today, but Tesla only deployed a few electric trucks to its own fleet and a single client. The automaker is currently building an expansion at its Gigafactory in Nevada to build a semi in high volume. As for urban transport, Tesla has never publicly commented on it, but a video of a Tesla prototype for a people mover at the Boring Company did leak last year. As for autonomy and sharing, they are dependent on Tesla developing full self-driving. Musk's predictions were careful about timelines Lines, emphasizing that the software will take much longer than the hardware. With the recent release of FSD V12, there has been hope that Tesla could finally deliver full self-driving, but that has yet to happen. What Tesla has accomplished so far is truly incredible. However, autonomy is still an incredibly difficult problem to solve, and it's still unclear when this will happen. Swedish truck maker Scania is working with SEA to put the world's first all-electric timber truck into production. SEA began developing a prototype logging truck with a massive 70-ton hauling capacity based on a Scania electric semi back in 2020. SEA transports about 8.5 million cubic meters of wood across Sweden every year and is Sweden's largest private forest owner and producer of wood products. While it might seem weird to talk about sustainability and logging in the same sentence, wood-based products sourced sustainably and with proper reforestation practices have a place in the broader sustainability economy, and Scania's efforts help to decarbonize that industry. Last month, we learned that Tesla is planning the world's largest supercharger station in California with 164 stalls. Now, Tesla has unveiled plans for a new mega supercharger station in Florida with an astonishing 200 stalls. Yeehaw Junction is located along three highways connecting South and Central Florida, as well as the coast. The site is strategically located for a charging station and Tesla is investing big on it. Charging infrastructure is a big part of the solution to accelerate EV adoption and Tesla has been on top of the problem for a while. It is nice to see that Tesla is investing in much bigger charging stations in anticipation of the increased usage. In today's community comment found on YouTube, somebody mentioned that they prefer efficiency over range. It will be interesting to see what automakers focus on in order to survive in a changing auto market. 
Now the battery range is starting to mature, we might see the focus shift from range to fast charging or charging networks in order to improve the current EV experience in addition to dropping prices. Thank you for watching Quick Charge by Electric. I'm Steven and have a great day.